Realistically, I could just give up. Give up what? As long as I pass all my classes, <laughs> it literally doesn't matter. I don't want to say Alabama because <laughs> their fans are ruthless. At Trader Joe's, I'm gonna get these things. Bloobs in muffies? <laughs> yeah. This is definitely a fan favorite. Taco lime chicken tacos. Taco lime chicken tacos? <laughs> Good morning, good morning, good morning to you. Good morning, good morning, and I love you too. So, yeah, hey everybody, good morning. So, so, so school has a two hour delay right now. It starts at 9.30, it's 9.15. These um, guys, uh, we're getting ready to go to school this morning and it's no, absolutely it's gorgeous It's too nice of a day to go to school today. So we started sitting, I came out here to drink my coffee. It's like 70 what degrees? 70 something? 70. 70 degrees. And then... 77. 77. You can hear the airplane over top. So anyway, I came out to drink my coffee and Katie... Well, Ryan came out to join me and then Katie came out to join me. And it's just too nice. It's too nice to have to go to school. I don't like school. Yes, you do. No, I don't. Uh, well, you've seen your itis. We can't even have a discussion about it because okay. I don't. Okay. It's not even a debate. Okay. okay. It's not even two sides. All right. Well, so... <laughs> So I am I am affording them just a teensy opportunity to be a little bit late to the school, but you are going to be missing two days of school next week for our trip. So you guys kind of gotta get up on the grind, oh, right, Ryan? Right. Yeah. yeah. I about that. All right, so I'm gonna set the timer for five minutes, and then you're up and out, okay? No! Yes. Is it like a gorgeous breeze out here? It's absolutely beautiful. I think I'm gonna work out here today. Let's do that. Help? I miss when we had online school. I know, actually, as much as I complained about it, it was kind of nice. Hey, Katie, um, so tonight you have a tumble class? Yeah. Excited? Mm-hmm. Okay, good. How do your wrists feel? Good. Wrist nub, wrist nub. Ryan, what's on your cheek? Is this still on there? Yeah, do you know what it says? This is glowed up. <laughs> it says glow up. I got it off my... Yeah, offer her... My uh, Clementine. Clementine. And she put a sticker on my face, and I was like, oh, I'm going to keep this on here until it falls off, but I guess it hasn't fallen off. No, yet. you should keep it. You didn't feel it anymore? Oh, it's cute. You should, right, maybe put it on your watch or something. All right, I'm going to skedaddle because we're going to have our little countdown, and then time to go to school. I would write these guys a little late pass. <laughs> <laughs> All right, it's time for the delay to end. Realistically, I could just give up. Give up what? As long as I pass all my classes, I, it literally doesn't matter. Like, it straight up doesn't matter how I do it. Yes, it does, because they ask for your second semester transcript, just to confirm. Like, it's a contingent offer. When you're offered, it's contingent. So, no, you can't give up. Oh, that's so, yeah. Yeah. No, it's as long as you're not failing. No, it doesn't. Yeah. No, yeah. it does not. Yeah. No. Oh. Yeah. Well, you could try that out see you how get, it works for you, you Kate. Get old Miss, but... Oh, wow. No offense to old Miss. Wow. Yeah, how does he know? All right. Goodbye. Right, Love so you. Mwah. Love you. I don't want to say Alabama because their fans are ruthless. Yeah. <laughs> All right, guys. Enjoy your day. I'll see you in like two hours. Perfect. Bye. Bye. Love you. Bye. Wait, it's a shortened day. Let's yes. <laughs> so my exercise today is walking. I'm walking. Mike and I walked to the post office. And then I walked him back home and I continued my walk. He's not much of a walker unless he has an actual mission when he's walking. Me, on the other hand, I just like to walk. Sometimes I walk with my ear po AirPods in listening to stuff. But today, I had too much thinking to do. Because I'm planning for our big trip, which is so exciting. So planning for a trip like this is, um, it takes a lot. I mean, planning for any trip takes a lot. But especially this one, because we're going to be out on a boat for three nights. I don't believe we're going to be coming into any ports, so we have to pack all the food and everything that we need with limited space and limited, um, really like galley av av availability. Like that, we have a galley, a kitchen, but they won't have all the comforts of home. Like I don't even know if that was a microwave, for example. So we have to come up with some breakfast, lunch, dinner, snacks, desserts, that kind of stuff. But that is so fun for me, putting together those menus. So I've been just thinking in my head, taking notes, writing it down. Don't forget to bring this, don't forget to bring that. But we can't, again, can't bring too much stuff because a sailboat doesn't have a lot of space in it. So for clothes, really, it's just bathing suits, sweatshirt, flip-flops. And then um, 
And then for activities, we have small little games. We'll bring cards and bananagrams, that kind of thing. And then we have for food is really gonna be the, probably the biggest thing that we're gonna bring. So we are gonna pack a cooler and bring that down with us, some perishable items and some frozen stuff that I will cook pre previously. And then we'll probably bring like another maybe box of um, items that are non-perishable. So I've been using my walk today to start to plan all that out. So I'm looking forward to doing that. And then we're not gonna have much internet out there at all. So I need to edit and post all my videos that are gonna be posted while we're away before I, before I go away. So it's a lot of planning and a lot of prep, but totally worth it. I'm gonna be crazy, like probably pulling my hair out. But then once I get there, it is a relaxation time. So we've decided we're gonna bring the GoPro and we're gonna bring the Sony that has the little wind muffler on it so you guys can hear what we're saying when we're filming. And, uh, and of course our phones. So it's all coming together. So excited. By the time you watch this video, we'll probably either already be there or maybe even be home. Um, but maybe you'll see some stuff on Instagram. So be sure to follow us on Instagram. That walk was so productive. I came home and started writing out my list of everything that I need. I have all my stuff back here. So what I did was I decided, okay, we're going to be there for three nights that we're going to be on the boat. So that's when we're going to need, you know, our meals. So I was like, okay, we'll do fish one night, fresh fish from the, from the keys. One night we'll do flank steak. Cause I love to put that in a Ziploc bag with the, um, with the sauce, the little, um, it's called soyaki sauce and you put it in there and, um, and then you, it marinates and then you cook that. And then I was like, okay, for a third night, I want to dying to try this taco lime chicken recipe. So it's taco lime chicken, um, tacos. So I put that for the third and then I start matching them up with, okay, so we need to have a vegetable or a salad and some type of starch. So with the fish, we'll have salad and then we'll have rice and then we'll have strawberry shortcake because we always have to have dessert. <laughs> And then we'll have um, the second night, actually, I think we're going to do taco lime chicken tortilla, uh, tortillas, like tacos, with quinoa, corn, and mint salad, and a bag salad, and key lime pie, because that's a specialty of Key West. We'll get that down there. And then the third night, we'll do flank steak with tomato and cucumber salad, roasted potatoes, but I might switch that, actually, because it might be a little bit hard to roast potatoes on the boat. I'm not sure. And then brownies. And oh my gosh, this keeps sticking in my sweater. Anyway, so once I decided what we need there, then I made my list of all of the ingredients that need to go into making those. Then I added what we're going to eat for breakfast and what we're going to eat for lunch and what we might have for snacks, what we have for appetizers, that kind of stuff. So I made this list front and back. And then from there, I went and I put it in the computer because I had to divide it up between how we're gonna, like what we're gonna bring with us and what we're gonna shop for down there. So this is what this looks like. So on the left, again, you'll see all, just the dinners really are the most, um, the biggest things. And then at Sam's Club, I'm gonna get these things. At Trader Joe's, I'm gonna get these things. At Safeway, I'm gonna go back to that in a minute. Safeway, I'm gonna get these things, which is the grocery store where we live. And then over here, this is Publix. So when we go to Florida, um, on our way to, between, we fly to Fort Lauderdale, then we drive to the Keys. So we'll stop at Publix when we get to the Keys and I'm gonna get these things. Like I don't wanna carry eggs with me. I don't wanna bring eggs. I don't wanna bring bread with me. It'll get mushed. Milk is too heavy and I, I want it to stay cold. Um, Tostitos will get mushed. So I'm, all the, and then the, all the fresh produce. So I'm gonna get all of this stuff um, when we get there. So I'm gonna go shopping today for this and this and this. And then this is other. So when we get to Key West, we're gonna buy the key lime pie sugar. Oh, I'm bringing sugar from home. I don't need to buy that. <laughs> and then key lime ginger sauce. The same place that sells key lime pies sells this key lime ginger sauce. So I might, instead of using sayaki, I might use that sauce on the flank steak. So I got my recipes out. This is one I got from a magazine a long time ago. I've never made this before, but this is the quinoa corn and mint salad. I'm very excited to make that. This is my Bisquick recipe for strawberry shortcakes. This is a recipe that from my Mother-in-law, it's called Lillian's Bean Salad. I think I'm gonna make some bean salad and just let it sit and, and bring it down so we can just eat that while we're there. And then this is taco lime shrimp, which I'm instead going to make into taco lime chicken um, tacos. So I'm very, very excited about all of this. I'm all organized and ready to go. So I'm going to make my trips. And I think Kate's gonna be able to join me for um, the second half because she's still in school, but. So here I go.
All right, you guys, I did my first shopping at Safeway earlier today. Now we are doing our second round of shopping at Trader Joe's, and then we have to go to Sam's Club. And then when we get down there, to, when we get down there on Saturday, we're gonna shop at Publix, because we're gonna get oh, all the like- Remember when we used to get those pita crackers and we eat them in one day? Yes, I they're would really so sit down and good. The entire box. Oh, they're so good. Okay, we need to go over here and get some soyaki. Bloops and muffies? <laughs> yeah. I hope not. It's very, close to it's very close to closing. We have to be able to get in and get our stuff and get out. We don't have a ton of stuff to get at Sam's Club, but we do have some stuff to get at Sam's Club. Which is good that we don't have a ton. Right. Like normal. Like right. Like I know. I know. Like how. looks like now that I've found things at certain places, didn't find things at certain places, purchased things, crossed them out, moved around. That's my list. And this is what I bought. So you can see, these are just the things that we purchased here. That some of them will, will be made into other items. Some of them we're really just gonna pack just like this and, and send down. And there you have it. Oh, I'm making the chili. We're bringing chili with us as one of our meal. Well, sort of like a lunch or just a have while we're at the um, on the sailboat. There's our chili seasoning. This is my recipe. Here's some beans that are going to go in the chili. Yum. Here's our cooler. Mom and dad gave us this cooler, Nan and Pap. So we have this, we'll pack this with things that need to stay cold and probably with all the other non-perishables as well. Cause I think they'll all fit right in here actually. I think we'll just have to send this on the plane, send this down. And then while we're there, we can use it also as a cooler because there's not a lot of cooling space on the boat. And over here, I put together my chili. And see that so I'm happy about that this is definitely a fan favorite this is turkey chili and what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna put this in individual well like what's it called quart freezer bags are they called quarts <laughs> the freezer bags so they'll probably this will probably fill up three freezer bags I'm gonna freeze them flat and then put them in the cooler and we will have that down there as either a meal or a lunch or just a snack. I know the boys are gonna eat a lot. The captain will probably eat a lot. <laughs> he said he, he said he's, he's a, a good eater. And I am pretty ready to go. All right, you guys, so I've cooked well into the night and everybody else has gone to bed, but it's time for me to wrap this up as well. So that is the food prep. I might do a couple more things tomorrow as it relates to food prep. Oh, I forgot to show you this. Holy cow, I forgot to show you this. Look at this. I have never pickled anything before, but I am pickling some onions because for the taco lime, taco lime chicken tacos, taco lime chicken tacos, <laughs> um, they recommend that you put pickled onions on it and or sour cream and or cheese. So I'll probably put all three on mine and I love red onions and this is just red onion pickled in apple cider, vinegar, water, salt, sugar, and fresh rosemary. So I'm very excited about this. I hope it works out. So uh, pickle jar. Now, what I did not do is I did not like vacuum seal it. I, I'm not sure how you do that, but I just put the top on and I'm hoping it's okay. They're, and they say in like one day, it'll be good. So tomorrow it will be ready, but we're not going to eat them until day two. So anyway, so everybody's going to bed. I finished what I needed to do. I'll probably do a few more things tomorrow, but thank you so much for watching. We hope you enjoyed today's video and this 
vlog about the food that we're going to be bringing on our sailing trip. It's a little bit of a different planning for sailing than it is for just going on a regular vacation. All right, you guys, I'm exhausted, so I'm going to head on to bed, but please stay tuned. Watch the next few series of videos, at least because we're going to be in Key West. We're going to be packing and getting ready to go to Key West, all of it, and we'll get to see that, and you'll get to um, watch and be sure to, to stay tuned so you can see the different meals that we make and how we make it on the, on the boat, and um, everybody jumping in and making dinner and what those dinners are going to look like on the boat. Um, I'm really very excited and exhausted, so I'm going to go to bed. So talk to you guys later. Bye. For the latest in Live Happy and It's the Donnelly's merchandise, visit shopitsthedonnelly's.com. Thanks for watching. Be sure to thumbs up and subscribe. See you later.